Yeah, like usual, I was right. Um, got a little fireball right here. And then get a eclipse after that. I'm thinking it might be the shutter. Like on the um, camera. But I like the timing. It was right around that seven, you know. We've been talking about the seven. That's my birthday and all that. Very interesting. Can you show it again or? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, interesting. Three week period, interesting. So, um, in case you don't know what the four is all about, that's pretty important. But before I get to that, let's talk about this. So, yeah, I already showed you in this video, you should really check this one out, this one. It's really good, but in it, I discovered the, um, the Bride of Christ, you know, New Jerusalem. So it was really cool. You should check it out. You know, that's Mount Zion right there. That's the mount he's fighting this war from. And he's really just protecting it, I would imagine. I'm not worried about it getting harmed. I mean, look where it's at. It's like right next to him. Right here. I'm imagining these are crosses, but maybe crowns at the same time. But it looks like three of them at least. And then you got like this little horse thing right here. You got to see the video. Seeing the motion is really cool. Let me see if it'll, if it'll play. Hold. Yeah, see? It's really cool. I like it. And then the chemtrails are the innumerable locust multitude that he has to go against the water and all that stuff. Everybody been dealing with that crap, though. But especially him. That's why you'll see the sun, like, surrounded with that stuff all day. You'll see dragons and stuff, like, right next to the sun. You'll see all this activity near the sun stuff going in and out of the sun. Because that's the opening in heaven, you know. The light of heaven is Jesus Christ, so... I mean, put one and two together. What's coming through that that that, that the opening? <laughs> you know, like what this is, and why he said the birds of heaven, which he's riding on one of the biggest ones I've ever seen, and that ancient uh, teachings about um, just as frequent as the flood. But anyway, so. Like he's riding on that and he got his bride right next to him. You ain't touching that. I ain't worried about it. Let's, uh, I'll tell you straight up where it's at for you guys to know what's really going on. And when I found out, I was like, you know, let me figure out what's going on again. Because I know he's my spirit. Which, you know, that's both of these. His bride and Jesus are one. So as I increase the spirit with him. And I built this mountain without my without hands, you know, my spirit via Jesus, like I do everything. That's why he's got all the power and stuff. I started to want to see what Genos has been doing because I wanted to see if he was catching up in power. And or doing something, you know. I didn't even check on him really. But my spirit or something wanted to show me it because it showed up in my recommended. And if I was to go to home right now, I don't want to close out any of these, but if I was to go to home right now, I'll do it later if, if I remember. It it doesn't show any of this kind of stuff. It might now because I looked at this, but I doubt it. If you guys look at any of my videos when I'm on my home screen, you'll see I don't have this kind of stuff in my... Because I don't want to get ahead of the cartoon usually. I started doing that with Dragon Ball Z because I noticed that it's literally mirroring my life. Like how Vegeta started getting his, um, his chi power. Because Vegeta and Goku, Vegeta's like his, uh, his, you know, his house bride, you know, just like, I'll put it like, just like how Genos is like his little sidekick, basically, but he's like the only one on par with him. That's because those two are like yin and yang, kind of. And um, it's like really interesting, but they, 
they're one, but they're, you know, they're not really any, any. It's just like, you know what I'm trying to say. It's got to do with the, you know, the bride of Christ, which is like, you know, what I just showed you, New Jerusalem. But it's also a symbology of how the father and the son are. It's all like that she's one with him. So it's got to be like the father and the son type of thing. So Vegeta and Goku do that same thing. They're the two witnesses. Just like me and Jesus are the two witnesses. You know, and I'll tell you like right now so you can understand that. Like at the beginning, right? The beginning was the alpha. The alpha is a person, you know, and then Omega, you know, that's another person. But the same person, They're, that's the two witnesses. That's why they both have the sharp sickles on the clouds after they, they rise. And they're sitting on the clouds, just like the Son of Man, because they are the Son of Man. And, uh, you know, they judge the world, you know, only only God judges the world. So, it's, you know, they're God. And they're two of them. And just before that, you know, there's the two witnesses doing their thing. They both have sharp swords out of their mouths, just like Jesus comes back with two, because they unified. That's why it says the two witnesses stand before the God of the whole world, because once they fuse, they are the, you know, the God of the whole world. They even show you this in Dragon Ball Z with the, um, the God, God above all, you know, in there, and then he's got those two olive tree guys right around him all the time. Like... This is, I couldn't, couldn't, I, like, I put that out before they even did that with the show. And then they had Goku Black with the sharp sickle. And uh, that's got to do with this guy. This is, like, how it started out, like, and you know, war is, like, symbolic of the power and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, this is a long story. Let me get, get back to, um, it's just, mm. all right, so let me, let me get back to this uh, basic story. So the beginning, in the beginning was the word. The beginning is a person, Alpha. And in the original Hebrew, it tells you in the word, um, the word means command. Command was, which means I am existed. That's why his name is I am. So he took on the form of I am existed, God. So he, he said, that's why it says in the beginning was the word. The word was with me, you know, and the word was that command was to become God. That's why it says, it says the word was God and the word, um, was God. And then he, he, um, was back towards God or something like that or with God. Yeah. Yeah. With means, um, towards in Hebrew. So it's basically telling you that he, he started out with the beginning and then the command from the beginning was to become God. And then he was God. And then he was towards God. You know, basically was going back towards infinite growth or whatever that they had before the world was. That's how I start the kicking. Because the beginning part all the way till he became God. He became God when he was on the cross. Or or something like that. I would imagine he was already God as soon as he had manifest. It's just my personal opinion. But it seemed to us been something that happened with the cross because there's a lot of evidence of it in the Bible that says it. But also, Jesus took on a new name. He took on the name of the, he says now, you know, the Son of Man. He calls himself the Son of Man. And he, it's just too obvious if you look at the Bible. It's just, I'm trying to do it scientifically for regular people. And that's why God didn't have to, uh, nobody had to create God. God create, came from the non existence. You look at Genesis, shine from the non existence, the seed. That's where the light shines from. That's what that's the chaos and all that stuff. You can put all these movies and and like Warhammer. It's like this abyss. It's like all possibilities there. Like it's and they always they're always trying to get things back to that instead of letting things just you know live or whatever. The light. That's why this is the light that will never the perfect day, fifteen whom the light that never fails dwells. It's the seventh day. It's my actual birthday. It's the seventh. And. It's just interesting that she has this, this rapture thing all on these important days and stuff that happen, like that darkening, that eclipse. I mean, it's just been endless stuff, like this explosion thing that happened. I apologize for that. And then it's just it's just been too much stuff. Like one thing after another, and then after that, you see what happened? Get some auroras, because it's, it's just the sun creating this stuff 
And that's why, for example, you had that explosion in Russia, like when the, um, not explosion in Russia, but the asteroid that came down to Russia, it came down right when the sun was right there. It blew it down as an untimely fig. And, it, you know, a UFO blew it up in the sky. So it could have been a lot worse. Thankfully, it wasn't. And, but that's really happening up there. And people need to take this shit seriously. That's, that's all I can say about it. And I'm just trying to. Let you guys know about the bride, though. Right? But let me, yeah, let me let y'all know more about that. But let me finish the story. Like I already told you, the cycle. It's a cycle, man. Like <clears throat> it's got to do with the golden ratio. That's why you take the factors at the beginning, and now you get the golden ratio, which is exponentiality. You know, that's why you got the golden, the golden arc. Uh, why Zion is colored gold because it's got that golden ratio to it. Um, the cross is really the golden ratio. The cross is like, that's why it's so high up at the top. It makes a perfect uh, setup for a gold, uh, perfect Fibonacci swirl. And then that's why it's a rectangle, the, um, the Ark of the Covenant. It's got that same swirl and it's gold. And it's an energy generator. Just it's, it's very shaped as an energy generator. Plus it's made out of gold. People have already proven this. And what else can I say? Um, so yeah, it's, it's got this infinite thing about to it. That's why it's holy, holy, holy. Holy means dedicated, you know, holy, holy, holy. That kind of thing. Uh, so now you pretty much understand all that. But so, like, I'll read really, really, one more time. So in the beginning, you know, this is before the world was. It was him and the word. And then the command was to become God. And now he became God. You know? And also, you know, he, he shined everything that was to be created by a God and made everything to manifest for whatever reason. That was also mentioned in there as well. And that's got to do with the light shining from a certain man. And that man is the king, the king of um, the abyss. That's why these guys like Taurus, but they don't even understand these are all the same, the same guy. Like Taurus in Hebrew, Taurus in Hebrew, like this is going on the um, Pleiades. It's like the day after. Like this got to do with the Pleiades. You'll see. And the Pleiades got to do with Taurus. See? Pleiades come. See? But Taurus, the reason I'm bringing it up, it's got to do with what I was just talking about. It's all, always interrelated. It's, it makes it so easy to just talk about like I do. You could even see the Taurus shape in the um, sun that that reflection right there. Oh man, it's not gonna. I gotta show you that. Look at that. You see that? Wow. That's just a coincidence, maybe though. Um. But anyways, the reason I bring it up is when you look at that that story I was telling you in Hebrew. You know, like one of the beginning ones. It's the I believe it's the Taurus side. You know, they, in their religion uh, beliefs has got to do with you know. The father and all that kind of stuff. Well, now they're gonna they're gonna make it do that, huh? You know, they're just playing my music, so it doesn't just keep playing. But I was just listening to this while I was talking. I've been doing this whole video now, so it doesn't. Well, anyway, so that's how they do. You know, that's why they want to work with these computers so they can do whatever they want to do, fucking with stuff. Want to feel like they're God or something. They can't change shit in reality, though. They got synthetic biology, though. That one's pretty interesting. That's what y'all been seeing me knock down from the skies. And uh, some of this other stuff. But there's also been some... It seems to be an actual war in heaven or something. That's too deep for me to go into this video, though. It's like there's an opening in heaven through the sun. And they seem to, like, be going through that and into heaven and doing stuff, maybe. That's all I can say about that. So, um, let me see. Oh, yeah, Genos. Let me get back to Genos here. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. So, Genos, you know, I've always told you guys uh, I'm basically one punch man. You know, Genos, he relates to my spirit. And just like I figured, you guys are like an extension of Jesus' spirit. Those who, you, um, who are going to be grafted in or whatever. And uh, it's just, it's, 
it's really cool because he gave birth to a lot more, you know, than just one other thing. And that's the whole point of what he says where, you know, that the wheat fall and germinate, you know, it makes more, that kind of thing. But it's also there's a kind of a belief factor. Nobody, um, uh, that's like Jesus said, when, when the son of man comes, will anybody have any faith? Will he find any faith? You know, he's not talking about himself. He's talking about Saitama. Saitama, he's so unbelievable. <laughs> The things I do are so unbelievable. I'll put it that way. As a moral, like, nobody would believe me. Like, it's just unbelievable. But um, Jesus, you know, he did even greater things. So people have no excuse, even greater things, like things you could ask him any little question. I mean, I got this raw power. Jesus, he can he can, he can do all these crazy spiritual things that I just can't do, just like Saitama can't do what uh, Genos can do. Genos got all these other things that he can do. Well, he's not really a source of the power. He is the power, like radiating out, and it became all this. It's just everything. Like, it's amazing. It was just this possibility for it, and it seems to have spawned life. And it's just how it is. You can see that Fibonacci swore on everything. You know, it's a mark of beauty. That's why when they saw Joseph, they was like, "Man, only God can make this kind of beauty." You know, and they, everybody was after him and stuff, because it's like. This is fractal thing. And, uh, and it makes you luminous. Like I showed you in that one video as well. Let me show you this one. I don't even show. Yeah, this same video I was talking about earlier, I think, in this one. Not sure if I got to this part, but yeah, you can see. Yeah, I would, I'm pretty sure I would have started with this. But, anyways, yeah, you see the bride right here. You know, right next to him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard those guys. Just to reiterate though. And then later in this video, or early, I don't remember how I ordered it. You can see, you know, there's like I show you how like I'm like super reactive to light and luminous and all this kind of stuff. I just wanted to kind of show you that, like, it's just it's not something you normally see. Like most people are kind of like dull or whatever. You can see a, like a lot in people's eyes too. Like, well, anyways, you can go check that out or whatever yourself. So getting back to Genos, he, you know, he's, you know, he's a spirit. So I wanted to see what was happening with him. And just so happened, I, I didn't actually think of that. I actually got it recommended to me, which is the craziest thing. But logically, I should have thought of that, but I didn't. But it came to me and I was just like, when I saw it, I was thinking in my head, this is unbelievable. That he actually like peeking and stuff. And I usually don't look at anime as the manga because like it's way ahead and it's more stuff. I never really did that with this one. I heard a few things. But uh, I do. I started doing that with Dragon Ball Z because that one was way ahead. But like, that one was way ahead, man. Um, this is basically mirroring what's going on right now. Like because this is cheat control and stuff like that, that I'm trying to do. That they're actually doing in the show and i just thought that was really cool i really don't see how um well the only way i could see how the angel intervening now release is probably related to how all this stuff's happening in my life but i think that the next episode is going to be more interesting than just him i think i think something else is going to be a big factor and um <clears throat> Just because how much has been going on with me recently, so I know that that was last episode. Next one's gonna be really interesting, and I already got a kind of a clue in that when I watched uh, BBC Heroes, and it seemed like it's gonna kick it up on the next episode as well, and it already did on the most recent one. So I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be interesting shit, man. You gotta, I don't want to spoil enough for y'all, but you can go check it out yourself and see what I'm talking about. Um. Like, for example, they're down literally like, man, I don't want to say it. Well, the two became the four. And, you know, I've been saying this fours and twos and all that. And it's just like, it's ridiculous that there's actually two different worlds, like GT and DBZ in that one. And um, really, I'm actually more symbolic of the guy that the whole show is based around this human that became the same. And that's never happened before. And the way that happened was literally just 
just infinity power. That guys would have me warp out, out um, outpour. Like it's called the outpour of the spear. It doesn't fade. It's the bread that never fades, that, that reaches the everlasting. It's Jesus himself. That is the blessing itself. It's that Holy Spirit itself. Um, people underestimate that. But anyways, let me get back to this, man. So again, us doing this day. Really interested with that. He's actually getting close to like what Jesus, not, well, I guess I could just say Jesus because Jesus represents Saitama as well because he represents the power. And all the power I have is because of my spirit mostly. And that's basically Jesus. And it's really less to do with my physical power. And that shows in Saitama himself because it's actually more so symbolic of me. But he, he represents the power physically as well. Because the physical power comes from the spirit as well. It's like um, all that spiritual stuff. Is, and the mind is very important as well. I'm not going to say too much about that, but the mind is very important. And your vision is very important. Your focus. The most important thing, I can't even believe. I think this is why my Tyson might have followed me. Like He, he said something. When he was younger, that was like, he must have read it in some book or something. Because somebody said it sounded like something out of a book. But I don't know. Maybe it was the other guy in the video quoting it. But um, Mike Tyson said something. You, he beats people with his intention. But he was talking about more like his murderous intent. Like he wanted to punch their nose through their brain. So that kind of off put me. But when the dude said that intention makes anything impos uh, possible or something like that. And he, was, he quoted Mike Tyson. I was just like, damn, maybe Mike Tyson really, you know, believed this. And when he saw my page, how I said that's the really greatest power is intention. Your intention is how you you do things. You don't do things by anything else other than your intention. And that's why you have, uh, they you have always had this third eye thing. And it's related to the forehead. And that's why they get the horns through their forehead and stuff like that usually. And if you look at that footage, you can see those little, um, you know, how my forehead just had all those veins and stuff and um, those two little horn looking things when the light was up on it. Because I think the light makes my me metamorphosize some shit. It's real crazy. I never noticed myself doing that when, like, when I when I looked at it. The colors, the hue would change from blue to green, not the green. Um, it it might have. I don't know. It changed so many colors and then it went to like from blue to the fire. And now I can understand how my eyes is able to um, change colors like that. My eyes are not blue normally. For some reason, they look blue and far away. And then it went like, like reddish and reddish and fire. It's really crazy. I, it shouldn't even be happening. Like That also happened in the other one with, the, with this one. But anyways, that's just some basic stuff, man. I wouldn't even notice that like, that was going to happen. So, like... This guy, he's, man, I just couldn't believe that he actually, like, boosted up right when I thought that there was this big change going on with my spirit. Because whenever I'm changing something, it's mostly to do with my spirit. So, it's like telling me, you know, he's pretty much what he is, but Gendos is catching up. Like, that's a good thing. Like, that's all I can say. Like, it's a really good thing. And let me get to what Gendos has to do with everything. Like, all right, so... The user in Brazil says, just funny in Brazil, because that's where all the Hebrews and stuff are. The name Genos in Japanese means Saitama's, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, spirit. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> because, you know, the spirit comes from, you know, from the person. So just like um, a wife, you know, like uh, Eve came from Adam. A very unique kind of um, birth or whatever. And... Got to do with his spirit, man. It's got to do with his rib, his rib boat. What does it go down here? In ancient Greece, genos means race, stock, kin, plural, his genes, his rib boat. You see? Well, it's a social group, you know, kind of descent. It could even be a social group. So it's got to do with like the light of God, like becoming the children of his light, you know, Jesus' light. That's how like people. The bride of Christ can be a part of it as well. 
and they can, you know, even if they're small, they can become great real fast as this grows. And uh, they could they could result in something like this, you know, with just a few people. <clears throat> it's just amazing, like, and it's all one to me. So it's just getting us, getting us to gain us some power from the people. And uh, you know, it's Mount Zion. It's related to the people as well, and the twelve tribes, the twelve pillars. It's real, man. It's literally up there. Like, it's, you'll notice this uh, diamond-shaped object is always by the sun. Always. You'll always notice it. And then pay attention to the color of the clouds, usually gold. If you look at this video when I'm talking to the sun, and I'm at the red lights coming to my eyes and making them look like blood, which I didn't record in that video only because I didn't know the sun was actually talking to me when I recorded it. I realized that it does it every time it's red. When I looked at the video, that's when I realized that. I was like, it does it every time it's red. So I was like, okay. So, um, all right, basically it's there. That's all I can say about it. It's got more powerful, just like I had predicted. And it's got to do with the gene, but also like the character of Jesus. That's why it says to do things in his name. When you do things in his name, it means to do things in his character. He's the high priest messiah. You know, so, you know, doing that kind of stuff, just doing things. You know, like, he he taught all about his character. And also, it's important to believe in him. It's important to believe in him and to see him. You have to see him and believe. You can't just believe. You have to see him as well. I've seen him. So, I'm not even worried about it. I know I know where he is every day and day. I just showed him to you. Like, I'm just doing you a big favor. I'm showing to you again right now. Can you see? Right there. You see it? Now, do you believe? You see? <laughs> you ain't going to get to him except through me. And you ain't getting to me except through him. You get it now? <laughs> you ain't getting to Saitama without getting those kick of your fucking ass. You ain't getting the Saitama. You ain't getting the Gettos without Saitama making you flat as a tin can. Crushed under a fucking, a fucking rhinoceros or something. <laughs> but, um, oh my gosh. It's just so hilarious how this always goes together. But, like, yeah, the people. So this is how you can get in without actually being genetically related, but I'm pretty much every race this time, so yeah, it's got a pretty good shot when I the two witnesses shoot up and the man child is born, he goes up to his throne or one where I belong. Whenever the hell that happens. You know, uh, the judgment really hits this world, you haven't seen shit yet. It's just the birthing pains. Like just me building my power. Y'all ain't seen shit. Like, yeah, this is why I'm here. Now, quick, I'd be able to work when I'm not here being distracted, harassed 24 7. Like, in the kingdom of heaven. You guys, you guys have no clue. That's why it says, when that son of man finally stands before the, uh, the God of all, the, the God of most high, you know, uh, the, the, they called him something else, the, uh, the host of, not the host of hosts, but, he who was before everything. I forget how they worded it, but uh, it's just because I, I, I'm just doing it off the top of my head. But once he finally gets up there, it's ooh, it's it's, it's over. It's just, and that's why it says he he finally got his power back to himself. He took his power to himself. That's when I actually get to utilize all this shit I'm building instead of just being like a builder and just getting this side time of shit. This physical power, and you know? I mean, I give some mental capacity and psychic ability, which is pretty much beyond most people. But that's how I built the mountain itself. But like, there's layers to my plan. <laughs> it's like layers to my plan. I can't. I don't even want to say it all, but you, if you're wise, you understand. They want. That's why it says that Jesus is my power, and when the two become one, it's God of the whole earth. 
You guys haven't seen that before. The hell, nobody's seen that. There's going to be shit fleeing from that. It's going to be going to be quite interesting. So, like, I mean, that's the real father. Like, I'm just a son of man, but I, I can clearly tell that, that what I am. It's like I'm, the, I'm really the end, but I'm kind of like the beginning at the same time. It's like if you make a program, you're the beginning of it. But if you were going to put yourself in the program, you would literally have to be a little ass thing. Like, there's no other way. Like, once you're in there, what else is there? Like, you're in there. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and so it plays out backwards. You get all this shit done. It's, and this isn't it, man. Like, this is just the beginning of it at the same time. It's so both at the same time. It's really interesting. But um, it makes sense. That's all I can say about it. But anyway, so, and Jesus is the command. We're all just inside of him right now. I mean, he's heaven itself. He is the division that I made between the waters above and the waters below. He is the firmament. That's why his light, like, is everywhere. Like it's everything. That's why they say the whole firm and all these stars that make up the firm are, you know, they, they come, come together to make his light. That's crazy. But uh, enough of that. It's getting really long, even though it's interesting. You know, people have attention problems. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is really interesting. You know, your seed shall be as the stars of heaven. You see? Your genos. That's the spirit. So, you know, that's why I'm restoring everything that was before. I won't even be surprised if we have some ancient people just like up there waiting to kick some badass. Or maybe already up there fighting for Mount Zion, kicking ass and stuff for all I know. I mean, it seems like it goes on pretty often. And sometimes I think them just kicking the hell out of uh, Satan over and over again. It's like hell for Satan, I'd imagine. But just getting worse and worse every day. This guy gets stronger and stronger. And it's going to get to a certain point. Just a tipping point, man. I mean, where it's just exactly what he wanted. He's got them as, um, what is it? Your foot, no, no, no not, not just his footstool, but there was this other one that like ash below his feet for something, something really devastating. Like, but anyways, it's also got to do with the, um, with that great, that kingdom Babylon, how it got weaker and weaker and towards his feet. The feet symbolizes his end. If you got someone now, all you got to do is hit them real hard, hard at the top. Yeah, they're pretty strong at the top, but their feet are nothing. And you just like their feet ripped from under them. Like that's what's happened. <laughs> and that rip's gonna hurt, man. Um, damn, it's coming to me as it goes, like usual. Oh, yeah, so that is really cool. But you know, as you can tell, we're getting infinitely more powerful. And the reason Shaitan was bold, I don't have, I don't take steroids. The reason he got that bald head is because he's supposed to look like a monk, symbolizing the spirit power. Is what's developing his physical power. That's why he, yeah, his training is involved as well. You know, um, but he doesn't have to do as much as these other people would, which is literally impossible for them because they don't have spirit power. That's why you can see these monks literally put a drill in their damn body and they just survive that shit because they, it's kind of like, I'll give you a perfect example of how powerful she is. You all do it and don't even know it. Like someone's about to hit you. You tense up that part of your body. That's chi. That's chi control. Literally. Like, there's some bodybuilders that got no chi control because, like, I'm telling you, like, they're just all roided up and shit. Like, and they're gaining twice what someone would without exercising. Like, while the other person that's not using roids is exercising. They get eight pounds. The exerciser gets four pounds. Look this up. And they say, and that's why their faces and their organs get so big and kill them. Because they're not natural. You're supposed to exercise that part of your body you want to be bigger. It's meant to not, not be like that and shrink for your health. 
in case you're overpowering yourself or something, you need to be able to recover and go back to normal. Like, trust me, I know. It all flows to your heart. Your heart's the most important organ in your body. Like, for example, I'm born in D.C. I'm the head chakra. Yeah, I'm the head. But Jesus, he was born in the heart. The heart is very, it's the power. Because he's the source from the other realm. He, for me, here, you know, I'm the head or whatever. But it's like he was the, the heart itself. Because he transplanted us from there to here. He was able, that's my light. That's what he, that's what he, be, that's him. And so now I'm here, whatever, you know, he, that's why, that's why I, he had to make me. I made myself technically, but he had to make me. My, he's my light from the other realm. So now I'm getting to be my, you know, me and do my thing. Just can't wait to, um, you know, I get, you know, that's why my word is my weapon. I don't have to protect myself. You know who protects me? Jesus Christ. Because he's my word, my sharp sword out of my mouth. You see? That's why I don't have to pick up no weapon. He is my weapon. And his fucking word is going to burn even worse. <laughs> because he's talking about me. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. That's why it's unbelievable. It's unfucking believable Shaking the earth and the heavens. Because, you know, Jesus, you know, he is my power. So as I do it, as I outpour the spirit of God, you know, and Jesus gets more powerful. Like, I'm, you know, this is my, this is my talent. This is my gift. And I'm going to inherit that power, man. Whoo. Wait till you see what I'm going to do to these motherfuckers. You, man. Don't worry. I'm not going to be just harming, certain people. That's why you saw when he comes. When he does come, he's all uber powerful. He goes straight for Satan. This gets it right over. It's not like these, like right now, where it's just a power building and shit happening as a result. Then he's got like he's just, mm, I'm gonna get you. You're my footstool. You, you ain't nothing to me. He's just come right for him. The waiting game is all in God's favor, and that's why they know they had a short time. Because they knew he was waiting. So that power hits that, that apex. That certain point where it's just like, hmm. A harvest. Alright, so. I mean. You know, who the hell knows. I know it's up there. Obviously, the guys here, man. A bride is gaining power. That's good. You guys might start doing something. All right, uh, what else? Is there? Oh, yeah, it's, still, it's pretty cool, right? I just like how it's on the 17th. You know, these sevens. It's always going to be on the seven. I don't know if it's real or not. That sounds really cool. Reminds me of when I got hit by that planet. <laughs> it was a literally, it was a ball planet. I don't think, it was, I don't know if it was orbiting or what, but. Look like a circular thing. Who knows? People are yelling like shit in the background. I don't want to play that because it's disturbing, but. Yeah. Oh. Uh... But it looked pretty real to me because I've seen things. Are... But that one looked like. Not a hundred percent. We got this thing. I'm pretty sure I already showed you this. Got this eclipse. So there's a lot of stuff going on. In this Pleiades alignment. Like the power that was before the world was. All right, and then we got these uh, meteor things going through roofs and stuff. And then, just like I thought, when that 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 um, lightning burst, a super bolt happened, or it was a fireball, because it was related to the energy. 
that, you know, is being ignited by the opponent's view, kicking up. And then that dragon thing actually looked real to me. I've seen fake, I've seen real. The real shit looks like it's really there. Like, I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It, it could look kind of fake, but that shit looked too real, that dragon thing. I don't know when the fuck they recorded that. But there was some other interesting stuff in there too. But um, then in the 2.2, that's the 4. I already told you about in DBZ how there's a 2 and a 2 meeting together and the, the 4. So that's pretty much it, man. I've, um, I've caught you guys up on what's going on. That's just one day later. So enjoy.